What's going on YouTube? Jelani from JelaniTheMarketer.com back again with another video and in this video I am going to show you how I find products. Now this is part of my product research mastery course um, and there there will be some videos from my Ecom Apex course when I was drop shipping and I made a whole course about it so I'm going to give you guys some videos for free. Um, I'm traveling right now so I, I'm not able to kind of actively make new videos so this is just a little present for me to you. If you're drop shipping you can kind of see uh, my techniques that I use for when I'm trying to find products and all that good stuff. So if you're new to the channel, definitely stick around to see those videos. They're totally free. Um, and if you are new, definitely subscribe um, and like this video so that I can give you guys some more new content. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Hey, what's up everyone? Jelani here. Welcome to the next video of Product Research Master. Okay, I'm super excited to show you guys how I find products on AliExpress. Um, but before we do that, I want to show you guys some really cool websites that I use to get some inspiration for that process. Okay, so the first website we're going to look at is Etsy.com. Okay, and on Etsy.com, they actually have a popular section. So how do you get there? You just go to Etsy, E-T-S-Y dot com slash market slash popular. Okay, and on this page, they have all different types of products from home goods to jewelry. And you get some inspiration for... Um, what you want to sell, right? So for example, this little tree of life ring um, If I go to Aliexpress and by the way Etsy is a website that has majority of products are DIY meaning that the people Handmade them so the quality is not is you know, it's, it's amazing, right? The quality is not what you're gonna find on Aliexpress um, However, we're using it as inspiration on Aliexpress. So if we were to go to Aliexpress and type in tree of life um, ring let's see if anything comes up here all right so we got some some contenders but what we want to do every single time you go on Aliexpress and you search for a product you want to make sure that you're searching by order okay so sort the uh, product re uh, the product matches by orders okay so here we're gonna see some top contenders when it comes to order so this one here is a thousand orders right so that means that people have sold this product with some type of success right um, what you want to look for though when you come across these type of products and you think you found something that you think you can sell right you want to look for vendors who have lots of not only orders but lots of people saying they're trustworthy okay so for example here it says they're a top brand They've been in business for six years, which is amazing. Typically, I don't like to mess with anyone um, who has been in business under two years, okay? So if they've been in business for a year or less, I'm not really wanting to sh uh, give my money to them because they don't have the experience as people who have been in the business for three years, four years, five years, right? So the more years they have in this game, the more um, experience they have, right? It just, it just makes sense, right? You want people who know what they're doing, have dealt with dropshippers before, so that's what I look for, okay? So another thing you want to look for, if I go back here, you want to look for people who have diamonds or these type of king crowns, okay? Because that means that they have positive feedback, really good positive feedback here. All right, so you can see here, seller's feedback score. Um, they have 55,000 people who've reviewed them, like their overall store, right? Their overall um, account. And then they have a 97.9% positive feedback, which is amazing. I really don't deal with anyone under 97% because that means that they've been a little dodgy, people left some bad reviews, right? We want to make sure that we're keeping that um, high quality standard when it comes to the products that we're going to be selling because if we find vendors that are selling products that are high quality or people or vendors that are um, trustworthy, we can, you know, deal with them on a long-term basis, right? We can talk to them about deals, we can talk to them about um, ordering products in bulk or, you know, directing the directing us to our, their supplier so we can order in bulk, right? So we can get our costs down. So there are a lot of things you want to make sure that you're thinking about when you start ordering products from a vendor, right? Make sure that they're trustworthy. Make sure that they have some skin in the game. All right, so again, this one here is a 98.6, but you can see here that if I go back to Etsy and you see this tree, tree of life ring, there's some products that look very similar to it. They're not exact, right? That's The main goal here is not to get the exact product. If you can get the exact product, that's amazing. But the main goal here is to get some inspiration for your initial um, research, right? So here, this is pretty cool. This looks very similar to this one. Um, they're selling this for twenty nine forty seven, and we're, you know here it's a dollar forty nine. So we can definitely sell it for thirty dollars, right? Um, so if I scroll down here, you're gonna see a lot of home good products like this. Um, 
like pillows and canvases and you can get some really good good ideas from canvases um so if, for example if i wanted to look for like a this type of canvas which is kind of positive vibey so if i put positive quote canvas maybe it might come up not the exact one right all right so we got some positive thinking think positive positive maybe if i search be happy so obviously the exact one's not going to come up but there are some that are similar okay so this is what i do guys i'm going i'm i want to find the uptrending products i want to look for products that people have some interest in and how do we do that we just look at the trending products on these different websites okay a lot of these products are kind of feminine um not all of them obviously but a lot of them kind of geared towards um a female audience base but that doesn't mean that we can't find male products on these websites um especially etsy or wayne which is the next website i'm going to show you so um i just scroll i just scroll down and just try to look for things that i think will that would resonate with a certain audience. Uh, I'm trying to look for a product that I saw. So this feather necklace, if we come here and go to AliExpress and type in feather necklace and we go by orders, there are going to be some products that are similar to it like this one here. Um, you can see here they have 3000 orders for that product. Uh, and then here as well that one's very similar this one's very similar that one's very similar so you can get the idea that we're just looking for things that are similar to the research that we're doing okay so that's etsy definitely go on etsy definitely get some inspiration i've i've got some um cool ideas from etsy before just by looking through so definitely give etsy a try look through it go through their popular page and then try to get some inspiration and go to aliexpress and then cross-reference that product that you found on Etsy to AliExpress, right? So the next website I'm going to show you guys is Wayne Low. It stands for Want, Need, Love. So that's W-A-N-E-L-O dot C-O, not dot com. And it's kind of similar to Etsy, but it doesn't have like homemade products. It's more of like a, kind of like a Pinterest where you can just pen, not pen things, but like put up images and find images that you think are cool. And then on the right you can see that it says 643 saved so that means 643 people saved that item so that's how we're looking for these popular products these trending products and here you can um put women men or home and also the price so you can get some ideas for different prices or different um genders or if you're looking for some home good products um you can filter it that way so i'm gonna look for this product on aliexpress and what did they say it was it was called the indian forest or what was it indian forest star so i'm gonna look up that forest star and see if it comes up yep came up so let's look by orders here and you can see this person or this vendor has only four orders that's not like the ultimate you know i don't want to sell that product but the thing you want to look for this person has three stars right and then if i click on their product here um, their feedback score is okay their feedback scores are 4.8 but on this particular product they have a three vote but it's only from one vote so that can be a little um the the the, the variance or the, it's not as high right um thought it was bigger that's what this person probably thought it thought it was bigger it wasn't as big so they gave him a three so that's not to say this can't sell i'm just saying be sure to look at the vendors, right? Look at the ratings of the individual products, but also look at the rating of the vendor, right? So this vendor has a 97.4. So overall, it's not the worst. Just on this product, um, they got a three, but it's only for one person. So you might want to kind of look for other um, vendors that are selling similar products. Um, it doesn't look like they have a lot of orders for this type of tapestry. 
So that could be a good thing or that could be a bad thing. It could be a good thing because it, you know, it gives you room to enter a market for this type of design, but it could be a bad thing because maybe people just don't like it, right? Um, you don't know until you test, which is why I always say test, test, test. If you think you can find something good, test it out. So on Wayne Lowe, they're selling it for $7.85. Um, so it probably is coming from a drop shipped website. Um, so, but you can definitely boost up tapestries to like 30, 40, $50. I've definitely done it before. Um, and they definitely sell at that price. So let's go down here and look for something else. This owl necklace, okay? So I'm gonna type owl necklace. All right, and then I'm gonna search by orders. And see if it's here. All right, here's here it is, 65 cents, right? Um, so if I go back to Wayne Low, you can see that they're selling this one for $9.49. So if I wanted to, I could definitely offer this as a free plus ship item, um, you know, charge it at $8, $9 and make $8 to $9 per sale. Um, so that's definitely something that you can do, guys, is look at these products on Wayne Low or Etsy and then try to find something that you can possibly um, offer as a free plus ship item, right? So let's scroll down here. Guys, give me one second. I'm going to get my charger before my laptop dies. I'll be right back. Hold on. All right, guys, I'm back. So let's continue scrolling down here. And I want to get rid of that. So let's scroll down. Let's scroll down. I've got some really, really cool ideas from Wayne Lotes instead in, um, in terms of leggings and tapestries. But you see all these clothing ideas here, right? You want to stay away from these clothing, okay? Because you can you can easily find these type of hoodies on AliExpress. However, Chinese sizing, clothing sizing, is totally different from the U.S. Okay, um, everything is smaller. So if you order like a medium, right, and what you think would be a medium for you know, American or for a Western size, it's really like an extra small in in the Chinese sizing system. So you want to make sure that you are not getting returns right because as soon as someone gets that package right they're going to open it up try it on they're gonna be like what the heck this is so small i didn't order this right and then you're going to get a return and then you have to you know do if you don't want to return it you might get a charge back and then it just it's messy okay so you want to stay away from clothing um especially on aliexpress okay so i'm going to head over to shut up and take my money okay that's the next website but basically I'm using the same type of format. I'm looking up products on these websites and I'm going back to AliExpress and then checking to see if it's on AliExpress, all right? So I'm gonna scroll down here. I wanna show you guys a really cool product. This one right here, Guzzle Buddy Wine Glass. I've been looking for this product for so long because I think it's so, so, so cool. Um, the fact that you can attach a wine glass to your wine bottle and then literally just drink it, I think that's genius. Um, but unfortunately, I could not find it. So if you guys get some luck, I definitely think you should try that product. Uh, but I'm not going to waste my time and try to find it on AliExpress because I know it does not exist right now. Uh, maybe in a few months, though, when they get a, when they get a hold of it. Um, this Cat Travel Backpack, I've sold a few of these and I was selling them for around $65 to $70. On Amazon, they're $59, but... Um, if I come here and I search cat capsule, um, you're going to see that it's here, right? So basically it's a backpack that you can put your cat in so your cat can see the, you know, the earth or, you know, if you're in a wood, they can see the trees um, because cats, you know, they don't like to be on leashes or I've never seen a cat on a leash. <laughs> um, so you want to kind of put them in the backpack so they, they can see where they're going and see outside. Um, but yeah, so that's a really cool product that you can definitely find on AliExpress. A lot of these products have copyright, so stay away from them, like the Star Wars, Harry Potter, Superman, anything Marvel, stuff like that you want to stay away from because you do not want a uh, copyright infringement letter in, in your mail saying, you know, you owe this so-and-so X amount of dollars. Um, what will happen, though, if you decide to not listen to me and you decide to test out some of these products, what's going to happen is you're going to... If you don't get if you get caught, they're gonna send you a letter or email or message or something saying, you know, you better stop selling this, you better stop advertising it, you better delete everything from your website, from your Facebook account, everything. Um, if you don't, then you're gonna face legal action, okay? And that's called a cease and desist. Um, so you don't want you don't want that, right? 
So this is another product that you know can was doing well. I actually tested this in my course. Um, however, I tested it. What's today? Today's August second. So uh, if I were to go on Google Trends, you can see that the grilling niche or the grilling uh, trend is going down, right? Because summer is ending. So if I were to sell this product, you know, in the beginning of May, you know, it could do really well because it's grilling grilling season is about to uh, approach, right? So you want to take that into account what season it is, if it's a seasonal product, but you can definitely find this, that meat claw. So if you go to meat claws and you can find it on AliExpress. All right. So you see this here, $1.79 and I think on, on shut up and take my money, they're selling it for twelve ninety five. All right. So you can you know, hike it up to twelve ninety five. You can, you know, sell it as a free plus ship offer, but those are just some ideas, but Shut up and take my money is a cool website, okay? It's a cool website. A little geeky, a little nerdy, but I think it's awesome that it has cool products like this. Like, this is a cool skeleton uh, bra. I don't know if you can find that on here, but again, I probably wouldn't want to sell this because um, it's clothing and it can be a little weird, but they don't even have it. They have this as a tank tongue, but... Yeah, so... They don't have it but again like I said every product that you find on websites like the ones I'm showing you right now they're not going not all of them are going to be on Aliexpress okay so keep that in mind but definitely look for things all right so I'm going to go to the next website definitely take a uh, look up shut up and take my money it's super cool super awesome you can find some really neat products but make sure you stay away from anything that might have a copyright on it okay so I'm going to exit out of here and I'm going to head over to thieve.co. Okay, this product is absolutely perfection. <laughs> um, it's actually amazing that they offer this for free. So head over to thieve.co and sign in with your Facebook account. It's totally free. And what they do is they literally will find the best items on AliExpress that people have not thought about or people have not found, right? So all these products are super cool. And if I click on... Um, for example, this, and I buy this on AliExpress, it's going to bring me to a page probably from a vendor that doesn't have a lot of orders. So exactly what I'm saying here, um, it's 39 orders, but this company has been in, been in business for six years, right? So that's amazing that there's only 39 orders. That means that we have so much room to um, come into this niche, come into this territory and just demolish it because there's not a lot of people selling it. Um, even though it does have some orders, right? And it can be useful. It's functional. It follows the 80-20 guidelines of a product that people have never seen before. Um, it's a USB LED light for people who have maybe small businesses or photographers who are looking for another light box that's portable, right? So it has some functionality, but it also has some wow factor to it as well. So this is super convenient because it just allows us to quickly go over to the AliExpress page from thieve.co without having to put in the keyword on AliExpress, right? So there's some awesome, awesome products on here. And for example, this one right here, it's a class, um, a collapsible survival hatchet. So the survival niche, the hiking niche, the camping niche, the outdoor niche in general is a multi-billion dollar industry, okay? So this is definitely something that can do really well. And again, only 116 orders, not thousands of orders like you've seen before. So it's definitely something that we can sell and do really well with. I can see this going viral just because that it's hatchet, right? People love things that they can use as a weapon. All right, so I'm going to scroll down some more. There's just so many products on here that you can kind of get lost um, and kind of get off track of what you're doing. And that's just product research, right? You want to look for products, but there's so many cool products. So many cool products. Um, some products can be pricey like this one, $158, but you know, you never know if someone's going to buy it until you test it. So this product right here is super cool. It's like a kitchen drip box. Let's check it out. Again, only 116 orders. This company has been in business for three years. They have a 4.8 in terms of votes and it's functional, right? Super cool that, you know, when you put your dishes away, you know, the excess water will just flow into um, the sink, right? So this is this is a product that can definitely be used. And guys, you can scroll down here and head over to feedback. If you click on the feedback tab here, and you you can sort pick uh, sort 
the feedback by pictures, you can sort by reviews from just the United States. Um, but basically, I would use this to look at the product to see what people are saying about it, who actually have received the product, to see if, it, if they got it broken or if anything was not received well. Kind of just get some ideas about it. And we can also use some of these as reviews for our funnels or for our websites, right? So definitely use that to your advantage. All right, so let's scroll down here and see if there's some other products that we can potentially sell. Um, you know, I'm already getting some ideas looking at some of these products, but um, that's cool. Bluetooth smart kettle. I really like this one here. Like it's a Nordic antlers wall hook. So basically I would probably sell this to hunters and they would probably eat this up like candy because they love, you know, the antlers. Um, so again, there's only 33 orders. This person's been in business for a year, so eh, it's a little iffy. But it is a cool product, so you know, if I posted this and it went viral or people were going crazy over it, I probably would just take the chance and see what happens or try to find another vendor. Uh, but typically, I wouldn't want to mess with someone that's only been in business for one year, right? Even though they got you know some good reviews. Uh, let's see if they have any type of photos of the picture. Of the product, I mean. Let's see here. So, no pictures. Oh, one with pictures. Amazing. Strongly recommend. It is much better than the picture. Okay. Cool. All right. So it could look like it's it's something that we could potentially sell. Um, let's see here. It's a portable projector. That's pretty cool. We got some drones here. So, guys, they it's it's so amazing that that this service is free, right? This is amazing that they have this creation um, of products that you can literally just find, and scroll down, look at trending products, look at new products, look at popular products, and just literally click on an image and just head over to AliExpress. It's so cool, um, and they have the price there. It's it's a, this website is a, pr a website that a lot of people don't use and a lot of people don't know about. So you guys are kind of getting like the first introduction of it. I haven't even really did a deep overview of this website in my group yet. Um, and I don't think I will. Kind of want to keep it low key, if you know what I mean. Um, just because there's so many awesome products on here that we can seriously do some damage with. Um, and just get some really cool ideas in terms of niches that we may want to go into. Or uh, just different products that we've never even seen before. So... This is a really cool website, guys. Definitely check it out. Definitely use it to your advantage. Like I said, a lot of people don't know about it, so be the first ones to use it, okay? The last website I'm going to show you guys is called canopy.co. So it's kind of similar to what Thieve is. So it's C-A-N-O-P-Y.co. And it's similar to what Thieve is, but it's for Amazon, okay? And the reason why we would want to look up popular or trending products on Amazon is because Amazon is number one when it comes to selling things, right? They're the number one online retailer, right? So we wanna make sure that we're using um, Amazon to our advantage and looking at products that are trending up and then trying to find them on AliExpress. So for example, for like this water pitcher here, if I were to type in, uh, let's see, infused water pitcher, we should get some similar products, not you know 100%, but they are similar. So let's go back and see, it looks like that. So this one kind of looks similar to that. This one kind of looks similar. Um, this one's cool as well. One thing you wanna look for guys though, is when you're looking for products, make sure it says per piece, not per lot, okay? So for example, you see this says lot via e-packet. Lot means that you're ordering more than one and you're potentially going to be losing money because obviously if you order a lot, that customer is going to get two instead of one. So it's like they're paying for two or three for one price and you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that you're doing per piece on an individual basis so that you're maximizing your money but also that customer is not going to get more than one, right? We don't want that happening. Okay? So look for per piece not per lot we're gonna scroll down here and see if we can find anything else that looks like we can find on 
AliExpress, but again, this is just for inspiration. These products come from Amazon. So a lot of these products are brands, right? They have branding. They have a lot of marketing power. So we want to make sure that A, we're not finding anything that's copyrighted or we can get in trouble for, but also we're not going to find the exact products most of the time using this website, okay? But again, it's just for inspiration. So you can head over to AliExpress, type in the keyword, and then try to find something similar, if not the same thing. Okay, so this is the basic idea of what I do on an initial basis. Like if I'm looking at a niche, I don't really know what I want to go into. I don't know if it's going to work. I want to do some research. I want to see what other products are out there. I want to see um, what's trending up, what's trending down. And most of the time, guys, when you're doing this type of research and you're really taking the time to find products that can do well, you're going to find something that's going to be like whoa like i'm making lots of money on this right because a you're probably doing more research than your competitor and then b you're finding it before them right you're finding that product before anyone else so you have the first access to that customer that ideal customer you have the first access to which can lead to a whole bunch of different opportunities like retargeting sequences for other products uh, later down the road, box subscriptions, you know, if you get into the wooden niche, right? So you're, you're going to sell wood products. Maybe you want to have a box subscription, right? Um, there's all different types of things you can do by getting into a niche before someone else. And you can be that first starting point uh, to start making a brand, right? To start making a sustainable brand, not just drop shipping, ordering things in bulk, putting your own logo on it so your value of, goes up, right? So this is the first steps that I would do. I would look at other websites. The websites that I showed you in this video are products that are, are websites that I use every single day when I'm trying to find products to sell. So definitely don't take it for granted that I'm showing you these websites because I, have, like I said, I haven't even showed um, you know, people who been with me since the beginning Thief, right? I just showed you guys it here. Um, so Thief is super powerful. It's probably one of the things I want to keep close to my heart because I just found out about it not too long ago and I was blown away, right? And it's kind of one of those things where once people know about it, they're going to be like, oh, this is amazing. I want to use it every single day. And then that's, it kind of sucks because then it saturates the market. And then there's products that, you know, we could have found first, but someone else did. So keep it on the tail right <laughs> um, but yeah guys that's basically what I do I just try to cross-reference products on Aliexpress I'm looking at ads all day long in my Facebook feed going back to Aliexpress seeing if I can find the product and then try and test it out right you don't know until you test that's the most important thing I want you guys to understand is even if you find a product you might not be confident about it right you're like oh, I don't know if this can do well but that's probably the product that's gonna blow it out the water right you have to put yourself aside again like I said put yourself aside it's not about you it's about what the customer wants and you don't know what the customer wants until you can kind of get their idea of what they want right start testing it out running some ads and say hey like you know this is getting some good engagement maybe I can work with this right so you don't know until you test so find some products guys use the methods I'm telling you look at products cross reference on Aliexpress and then start testing it out okay keep your promise, right? You're not going to give up on me, right? All right. So follow me to the next video where we're going to do some more product research. Okay. See you guys there. Bye. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, again, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. Uh, I'll be back with some new content definitely soon. Thank you guys so much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.